Hello everyone, I wanted to start a new Steam series, basically going through like all the good slash crappy free to plays, making reviews about them, basically telling y'all if they're worth downloading or not, because that's something that I'm kind of interested in, trying to find new games, so maybe I can help somebody else do it at the same time. So this is Age of Fear, a free world. You start with three factions, Human, Orc, and Undead. I'm going to start with Human, because that's the first one, and I have no idea what I'm doing in this game. Um, you start with a little, like, backstory on your, um, class, faction, or whatnot. But this is about all the story you get in the game. There's no, um, actual plot because it's like a sandbox introduction to the Age of Fear series. There's a lot of notes, which is super helpful if you've never played them. Because, um, it's a tactics game and it's very D&D-like. And a wrong move can get your soldiers brutally murdered. I found out the hard way. Um, you get to choose between three heroes per faction. I chose the knight because I always find the warrior class like super fun to play, at least starting out. Might not be like the most uh, dynamic gameplay, but I like warriors. I think they're cool. Um, so this is where you start out. You're in a town and you have your basic units that you get for your hero. The hero, the amount of units you get do depend, I think, on the hero. Um, I know they depend, like, if you... I played the orc faction a little bit and I didn't get any starting units. You all, always start with 500 gold, though, so you can, like, purchase some. Um, and the units, depending on the faction, have different strengths slash weaknesses. Um, the tributes, those are basically skills you unlock, some of them you start with for your hero. Um, and these are pretty like common tactic type classes, like my hero is a knight, so he's got a horse so he can move farther, and then you got the foot soldiers, which should be a little bit more tankier, but aren't. And then you have your archers, which should be vulnerable, but are as tanky as your foot soldiers, and have range. So, <laughs> But they do evolve into different uh, units, which is super cool. If you, uh, skill them up, and you get, this game is, like, super rewarding for your battles, like, you almost level up every battle. Um, I guess they're just trying to showcase, like, their abilities. I don't know if the actual Age of Fear games are like that, but for this one, you level up quite frequently. So, if you don't change it in the options, you can only, like, change the equipment on your hero. You can't change your soldier's equipments, but you can toggle that in the options. Also you should toggle your auto loot if you're just starting because they don't give you that hint till later and it's super useful. They also give you a little naming feature which is kind of cool if you like to name your characters and get to attach to them but there's no like quest line or anything so it's nothing like Pokemon where you can get Gary to call his grandson like jackass or something like that so it's not that cool but it's alright. You can get attached to your characters so when they die their inevitable terrible dumb death you can know what their name was, which is cool. Good stuff. Um, the age of the worst part about this, though, is I wish they would have gave you like a little bit of plot, so you could like have some some kind of like end game for the free to play. But it's just really a sandbox, like do the same battles over and over again, and then you have like some events sprinkled in there that don't really have like a story or anything. They just kind of give you an item when you like complete the objective. Like, give us gold to fix this windmill, give us gold to fix this transmuter place, uh, give this mermaid a pearl and she'll give you something cool, uh, give this vampire dude a goblin that you captured and he'll be happy. I don't really know what happens with him. Uh, but there's no actual, like, storyline. There's uh, even all the missions when you put your mouse over them say they're optional. So that's one big downfall to this being free to play, like a game. I mean, it's free to play, so can't complain too much. But that's why I'm making this video to complain, and that's my biggest complaint about this. Also, it's a tactics D and D type game, so your stats start out super weak for your weaker characters, and all the like damage and stuff is determined by dice rolls. Uh, armor and attack and stuff like that. Your stats are very D&D like. And this is the, depl the deploy turn thing. I don't get this at all because you have like this small box that you can move your troops around freely. But it's not far enough that's going to make a difference. And like since you can't um, 
you can't move then attack or you can't move then cast a spell you can only like move or attack unless they're in your range if they're in your range for attack you can just click them and then your unit will take the like right path to attack them but you can't like move your, your like archer to the right a little bit and then do an attack so the, I hate that about this game because that takes away some of your like um, control over your characters which is really annoying I think because there's some cool stuff you can do with the in most tactic games because you can use your archers and position them somewhere um, and then attack but in this you pretty much only have the option of moving or attacking or using a spell and I think the best tactic is really to let them come to you like come within your range so you can attack them because if you just move up to them they're gonna attack you so basically you just wait for them to come to you I didn't really know that at the start which is why well it pretty much worked out the same way this game's super unforgiving though as you would expect from like a D&D &D adventure type game and freaking it has this darkness which really messes up my range units which really sucked um, but these Goombas pretty much murder Freddy here which is super unfortunate freaking uh And there's like percentage chances for hitting the units. My archer's chances are down because it's dark outside, I guess. Even though, and then I aim for the 10% one because I'm a dingus and I don't really think it through too well. But yeah, um, I don't really know how I could have avoided this death too well because what you'll see is they just kind of attack him and he has two health, so he's dead. I mean, I guess they don't make it too expensive to, to like uh, purchase new units, but it's really annoying that. Uh, it's hard to keep them alive. And this is like a normal difficulty too. This isn't like hard or anything. So, <laughs> yeah, that guy dies too. And then, um, poison's super strong in this game and annoying because it's guaranteed damage. And like your heroes start with like two uh, XP. And then you get, well, you get XP in this game and you can do skills and then. There's no, like, uh, it's not super diverse, the skills. You don't have, like, a ton of choices that you differentiate on. It's going to make, like, massive difference in your character. You just kind of pick whatever is available, except for your hero, of course. You have more options, and you can, like, pick your weapon. This pissed me off, because that was Goblin Sa. I didn't know what that meant. And apparently it's a sapper, and he blew up my freaking units. <laughs> that was so annoying. I'd been grinding them and, like, trying to save them and make them one st so strong. But one mistake, and then Tom Brady died. <laughs> he didn't make it to the Super Bowl. A big black dragon just ate him. Um, that's another thing is this game has like the events where it's like warns you and it's like, are you sure you want to do this? Blah, 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 blah. And if you click yes, then you will die a terrible death. Freaking. Uh, and then it auto saves. So that was unfortunate. It basically just killed my unit. And I couldn't play it anymore because I'd always end up in the same spot but that was my fault for testing the game by uh, not listening to the warnings which is kinda cool it, it keeps the game interesting I guess um, I guess that's your end game you go to the cave and then you fight all those monsters and win who knows but there's no story in it sadly but I, the Age of Fear games seem like they would be good but I don't uh, this game in itself is kind of a bummer because there's no end game really it's just a sandbox tactics game and like one of the things I play tactics for is I like the story like the gameplay is alright but I'm mostly into it for the story like Phantom Brave and whatnot one thing I found annoying as well is when I started playing the orc faction and I only did it on the orc faction was that between like me clicking the actions and them happening was like a super delay time and uh... yeah this is the orc faction and these goblins are super weak as you're about to see one of them just gets freaking destroyed with one hit so <laughs> the mercilessness and this is basically how you level up the skills you just click what's pretty much available there's nothing and you can cure your you can cause permanent wounds by hitting people and then curing them if you get them yourself by using gold and it's nothing too advanced but it's nice I like seeing progression in my game it'd be kind of cool if you had like a bunch of advanced characters and stuff but 
this is really just a game to get you introduced to the Age of Fear. It's not anything that you can play. I couldn't play it over and over again. I could. It's like a game you play for a little bit and then set down once you decided if you're going to buy it or not. Um, but yeah, I'd give this game about a 5 out of 10 because it's not really a full free-to-play game. It's just like a tutorial for the Age of Fear. But thanks for watching. I'm going to try to do these videos weekly. Um... At the latest, I might do more than weekly, but that's going to be like my minimum goal if I can help it. But thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. Bye.